Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Pikmin 3. I am your host, Royal Crest, unfortunately for you. And in the last episode, we continued working on the Twilight River, trying to get further downstream and get closer to Olimar. Unfortunately, we didn't get very far, um, and I left behind, like, 18 winged Pikmin or something like that. Um, and I know I said, like, at the end of the last video, like, maybe I'll do a fruit run, but I feel like we can't do an effective fruit run until we clear the Twilight River first, and you'll see why in a little bit. So, without further ado, let's land. Alright, so we're gonna start plucking our Pikmin. Now, I will admit, this is actually the, like, third time I've tried to do this day. Alright, so I'm gonna pull out all of our wings. I'm gonna do mostly reds, because reds do a lot of damage. And then I'm gonna do, like... You know, let's, let's scale down the number of reds. Let's do 40 reds. I'm gonna just do kind of the rest in, um, rocks. And then what I'm gonna do really quick is I'm gonna just have two wings work on that. Alright, we need to get one more. There's surely another telephone there. Because I just want to get up to 30, because, like, it can be this boss fight, wing Pikmin are super helpful. Alright. Alright, let's not waste too much time. Alright, so what we're gonna wanna do is we wanna head down this way. And actually, before I even do that, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna send a couple of yellows to bring this back. I think it's eight. That should be, yeah. Okay. So, as I said before, this is like the third time I've done it because the first time. I couldn't beat the boss, because I kind of wasted too much time on the, like, on getting, on finishing the bridge, because we're not quite done with the bridge over there. And actually, what we can do is, mm, we missed it. Oh, that's lovely. Alright. Alright, so we want to hop on here, and we want to basically just ride this down. I mean, granted, it might have been smarter to go downstream first. Because that way we would have wasted a little bit less time, but eh, you know, too little too late. Nope. Alright. So we want to hold on here. We want to stay on... Stay on this part. We want to just keep going. And there's one of these water shooter things, so we want to avoid him. Alright, good, good, good. Then we want to see that mushroom over there. We want to throw... Oh, no, I want to lock on. You know, throw a couple wings. I want to throw a couple rocks, too. Throw as many wings as we can up there. Alright, so... Alright, awesome. We got that going, so now we want to just have our wings rush. We want them to take out that dude. And then we basically just want to... Alright, and then, cool. So we take our rock Pikmin. You just have them bust down this thing. And that's some more fruit. And then I'm just gonna have them carry it, because frankly, um... They're not super useful in this next boss fight. They are a little bit, but not tremendously. And then... Cool, so... Oh goodness, the Wing Pikmin. They're good! Come on guys, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're fine, you're fine. You're fine. 
Oh, one died somehow. All right. Whatever, whatever. One loss. <laughs> I'm just trying to like speed run this thing because like it's a really tight um, time schedule for like what we're doing because I have not had very good luck with the boss. Like the first time I couldn't beat it. The second time when I kind of knew what I was doing in terms of like what like I needed to do to get to the boss. I <laughs> couldn't, I, you know, I couldn't beat him, or no, the second time I did beat him, but I had, like, no time to carry anything back. Alright, so, I just want to make sure we have as much time as we can. I want to go up here. I want to waste no time. Alright, we got the big bad, the Scornet Maestro. And one of the big things that you can do is, okay. We need to recollect our wings, because they can actually kind of go around and fight these mini Scornets. Okay, nope. Alright, so with this one, we want to kind of keep our people... Okay, good. Oh, they got a couple, but basically when they're doing that, they're going to keep firing. So as long you want to try and keep your... Pikmin in a group. Alright. Fire them up and then have them just go ham. Okay, come on, dude. Alright, and then we want to try and have our wings save the Pikmin that get tossed. You can throw a regular Pikmin at it, too. Like, I'm not sure. Alright, so we want to kind of just keep our people in a group. No lounging around. And then once they start firing, that's when you start running. Because if you run kind of beforehand, then your Pikmin kind of trail behind. Okay, so we... Okay, I don't understand. Why does it, like... Bruce cover back to half. He like had nothing left. Bro. That's not fair. Alright. And then if you throw the wings, you can kind of take care of some of the things, so it's a little bit less difficult to dodge. Alright, this is the hard thing to dodge, and I'm not quite sure how. I would appreciate it if I could still lock on. Ooh. All right, charge. And then we just have them charge at it. Come on, quarter health, quarter health. Good, good, good. One more, one more good, um... All right, I think we got everyone. So now we just need to regroup really fast. We're winged all the way over there. We can get our wings to kind of fight these dudes. Alright. Because if we throw them here, we can break out of the... Okay, so hopefully... Charge! Come on, take him out! Take him out! Oh, come on! That was stupid! Alright, we want to kind of just throw our people to try and... Okay, good. I think we got everyone.
I want to stay kind of in the middle so we can... Because there's a big hole over here. Alright, good. Okay, so we should be good. We should be... Come on. Okay, good. Whew. That was scary, because, like... I'm, I, I'm sorry there wasn't much commentary in that boss fight, but, like... This has been very stressful to me. Like, I wanted to get a good time on it. <laughs> Captain Olimar, he's not moving at all. I'd better get him to the Drake and make sure he's okay. I don't think we had any casualties, too. Nice. Alright, so I'm gonna let the Wing Pikmin take the Maestro back, because they did a lot of the work. Alright, and then I'm also gonna have them take back the fruit. I'm gonna have them take back all of, like, the important stuff. And then I guess, for now, I'm just gonna have, kinda just throw, you know, everyone take what you want. Oh, they're all, like, stuck, that's weird. So we're going to have a lot of rides by the end of this. Alright, alright. So hopefully... Alright, I think I cleared out everything. Oh, there's a couple of squirnets over here. Cool. I think I cleared out that, so... Hopefully no one gets absolutely killed. Look at those, like, conga line of ones. No. Ooh, it smells great. Ooh, wonderful. Cause hopefully, I wanna go up here. Okay. Got a little lost, but I think everything should be all right. The path should be basically be clear, so that's good. Cause there's no nest here. So then what I'm gonna do is I'll just have a couple of reds, and then I guess I'll leave Alf here to collect them. Because I used a lot of potions, because I wanted to make sure. Is there fruit up there? No, it's just a leaf. I just wanted to make sure that I killed it, because, like, you know, this is a pretty, pretty decent walk back. So it's important that you get all of the stuff. I guess in the meantime, I can, like, kind of work on... Raising up my Pikmin or something. Uh, let me take a quick look. Um, the only fruit I see is the pear, like that's behind the bomb rock wall. So I'm not sure. Oh wait. Oh wait, there's fruit right here. Okay. Okay, well apparently there's a fruit right there. Um, I might need some more wings. Do we have any... Ugh, that's... No, I think I might need more wings than that. Alright, um... Let me go see if I can get that bomb rock wall down. Oh, the bomb rocks are there. Okay. So if I hop on here, I might be able to at least blast down the wall. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get the fruit anywhere, but... If I can get the wall down, good enough for me. And then we want to be going all the way down here. Oh yeah, there they all are. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get the like that pair behind the bomb rock wall close anywhere. I don't know, actually, maybe.
Oh, a message from the Drake. Analyzing recovered life form. Hakotation. Life form is in stasis. Subject spacesuit has activated for sleep mode. This guy has our cosmic drive key. I wonder when this forced sleep thing is gonna wear off. All right. I'm gonna have Alf try and collect the reds. Okay. Oh, yep. Nope. Not gonna get the. Uh, not gonna get the pair. Let's see if I can get the one red left. I think I threw like five. Hope. Oh. Ooh. I think I threw five. I think I threw five? Well, I guess it doesn't say that, so I guess I only threw four, so I guess? Yeah, hey, as long as the thing doesn't say it's, uh, one, I'm good. Cool. We got one fruit, or one spicy spray, so cool. Cool, cool, cool. I can't wait to taste the new fruit. Got another delectable bouquet. Got a blonde imposter. Not quite sure what that's supposed to be referencing, but... And then the other half of the blonde imposter. And then a seed hive. So both of those kiwis together make like one and a half, so that's cool. Get our juice for the day. Still have plenty of juice. I don't. I think we only have that one winged Pikmin die. Actually, now that I think about it, because like for some reason that wouldn't listen to my whistle. So I mean, I fault him. All right, but yeah, did pretty good today. We got all of our goals, and we got a pretty decent amount of fruit. We finally managed to rescue Captain Olimar, but his suit has put him in a state of deep sleep. All we can do is wait for him to wake up. No sign of the cosmic drive key either. I guess we'll use this time to relax for a bit and get some rest. Not the best day. Olimar hasn't woken up since we brought him aboard. Hey, I know that spacesuit. Put you into a deep sleep if you experience any big surprises. I forgot to start my voice like this. I missed an entire surprise birthday party once because of those suits. Why were you wearing that on your birthday? Is that your birthday suit? Oh, I see. What are we supposed to do now? And he's sleeping. Would you mind keeping it down? Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do. We need to get him to tell us where the cosmic drive key is. 
And in order for him to do that, we need him to wake up on his own. Let me try slapping him. No, no, trust me, we can't do anything once that suit kicks in. We just need to keep an eye on him. <laughs>